Hey everyone, this is Lauren Mack with Hackin' the Rat Race. Lately, there has been a lot of doom and gloom talk about the economy. Everything from a looming recession, a slowdown in the housing market, potential layoffs, and even rising interest rates. But today, I'm gonna give you some positive news. With interest rates rising, banks are competing for customers with high yield savings accounts. I'm gonna go over five of the best high yield savings accounts available right now and all the details so you can make even more money on your emergency fund and your sinking fund savings. So let's jump right in. A question I often get is, what exactly is a high yield savings account? High yield savings accounts are a flexible and simple way to earn interest while saving money. They're an excellent way to build an emergency fund or create a sinking fund for things like a savings for a down payment on a house, a vacation, a new car, a really big purchase that you're saving for over time. They're an excellent place for people who simply want to put their extra cash in a safe and trusted interest bearing account with the peace of mind knowing that they can pretty much access it whenever they need it. High yield savings accounts from online banks can usually offer dramatically higher interest rates than most brick and mortar checking and savings accounts. If you're getting value from this video, don't forget to poke the like button. Some of the better interest rates for high yield savings accounts are available in the range of 1.9 to 2.5% annual percentage yield. That's a little more than 18 times higher than the national average in the United States for savings accounts at traditional banks, which currently sits at around 0.06%. Most banks in the U.S. calculate interest on high yield savings accounts using APY or annual percentage yield, which is the amount of interest people typically earn on their savings account over the course of one year. At this point, you're probably wondering how is APY different from regular interest? APY is different than simple interest because it's compounded. With regards to simple interest, you'd make the same amount of interest on the money you invested in an account each month. But with APY and the effects of compounding, you get a double win because you earn interest on both the money you put into the account and the interest that was previously earned on that money. Interest is usually compounded on a daily, monthly, or quarterly basis. And this will depend entirely on the terms of the account. The high yield savings accounts from online banks are a terrific option to achieve higher earnings and lower fees because online banks don't have all the overhead costs that brick and mortar banks do. Many of the highest yield savings accounts are to be found at online banks. In addition to having slimmer operations, online banks can also be more aggressive in competing with traditional banks to win your business. Another great advantage that online banks have over traditional banks is that they're open 24 seven, giving you access whenever you need it. It's important to note that in order to deposit funds in or transfer funds out of your online savings account, you will have to link the account to your external checking or savings account and transfer funds electronically. However, some online banks also accept personal checks that are sent by mail. Now, for a word of caution about high yield savings accounts, not all high yield savings accounts are created equal. So make sure you do your due diligence. Make sure you ask the key questions such as, what are their minimum fees, charges, and don't forget to ask about security. Asking these questions can help you get the best deal. In the meantime, as the Fed continues to raise its benchmark funds rate, most banks, and especially online ones, will more than likely continue increasing the interest rates on these accounts. So now that we know what a high yield savings account is and how they work, and we also know exactly what an online bank is, let's talk about some of the online banks that are out there that offer some of the best rates. The first high yield savings account that we're gonna talk about is Marcus by Golden Sachs. 
According to Marcus by Golden Sachs website, here is a list of some of the benefits that they offer. You earn a rate of four times the national average at 1.20 APY, backed by the financial expertise of Goldman Sachs. There are no fees, no minimum deposits, and they also offer same-day transfers of $100,000 or less to or from other banks. Another benefit that they offer is a contact center that is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In addition to offering high-yield savings accounts, Marcus offers a variety of other investment options as well, such as high yield CDs, for example. Marcus can be a great option because it is a well-known bank with a long history. And what I really love besides the 1.2 APY is the fact that they have no fees. Additionally, Marcus offers many other lines of credit, such as personal loans, which are great for paying off high interest debt. By using their high yield savings and creating a positive history with them, it can make it easier when trying to obtain some of their products because you would already be an established customer. The next high yield savings account we're gonna talk about is Savings Connect from CIT Bank. CIT Bank is not the same as Citibank or Citigroup. CIT stands for Commercial Investment Trust and it is a vision of the First Citizens Bank. What does Savings Connect from CIT offer? They offer a 1.65% APY. However, they do require a minimum opening deposit of $100. This means that you can earn over 20 times the national average with the Savings Connect account. You get digital convenience with online banking and the mobile app. You can also deposit checks remotely and can make transfers easily with the CIT Bank mobile app. It's easy to open an account there and there's no monthly service fees. Again, CIT is also a well-known bank and it's been around for over 20 years. A 1.65 APY is awesome and you only have to deposit a minimum of $100. Additionally, no monthly service fees is awesome. The next high yield savings account that we're gonna look at is Citizens Access Savings by Citizens Bank. This bank offers a 1.75 interest rate. However, they do require a $5,000 minimum deposit, which is substantially more than the other banks we've already talked about in this video. Just like some of the other banks, they too offer no service fees, no account opening fees, no hidden costs, one of the potential downsides of this bank is that they do not currently offer a mobile app or checking account. Similar to other banks, Citizens does offer multiple channels of customer support, such as live phone help with seven days a week, messaging support, in addition to offering some other help through Twitter. While this may not be the most ideal option for regular savers or an emergency fund, if you have a sinking fund, like say for an upcoming wedding or a car that's gonna be more than $5,000, and won't be needed for a while, then this could be a great option because a 1.75% interest rate is a great rate of return for a high yield savings account and could help you reach your financial goal even faster. The next high yield savings account that we're gonna look at is from Ally. Ally offers a 1.25% APY along with zero fees and no minimum deposit required. Just like other banks, they offer 24 hour, seven days a week support by phone, chat, or email. Ally does offer some interesting features that some of the other banks do not. One such feature is called buckets. Buckets allow you to dedicate parts of your savings to whatever you want. Think of them as digital envelopes. You can create up to 10 savings buckets, plus you'll still earn interest on the total balance of your account. This is a nice feature to help you dedicate money towards any of your different savings goals. Another feature they offer is called Surprise Savings. This feature allows you to link any checking account you want them to analyze, even checking accounts you have somewhere else. Once you turn on this booster, their advanced analytics compares what you normally spend in your linked checking accounts and identifies any safe to save money, then transfers it to your online savings account. This is a really cool feature that can help you save even more money. I have to say, I love Ally Bank. They get great reviews and have great customer service. What I really love are their buckets. I have another video called creating a super easy set it and forget it budget, 
which lets you create a budget that you only have to review once per year. I also explain the best way to automate the whole process. In the savings portion, there are different options, but instead of getting more than one savings account, you could use Ally Bank's buckets. It is super easy to manage and you get the interest on all of your money. If you're interested in learning more about the super easy set it and forget it budget, I'll link to it above and in the show notes below. Well, Ally may not have the same interest rate as Citizens Access Savings by Citizens Banks, it has no minimum deposit, no fees, and so many other benefits, so this is definitely one of my favorites. Now, before I get to the next high yield savings account, which has up to a 4% APY, I wanna hear from you in the comments below. What are you currently saving for that you are most excited about? The next high yield savings account that we're gonna talk about is T-Mobile Money. That's right, you heard that correctly. T-Mobile, the phone company, offers a high yield savings account powered by BMT Digital Banking Services. You don't have to be a T-Mobile customer or even have a phone plan to open an account. However, if you are a customer, you can earn a 4% APY on checking balances up to $3,000 and 1.5% APY on all balances after that. If you're not a T-Mobile phone customer, then all T-Mobile money customers earn 1.5% APY on all checking and saving balances. According to T-Mobile money website, checking account customers earn 4% annual percentage yield APY on balances up to and including $3,000 in your checking account per month when, one, you're enrolled in a qualifying T-Mobile postpaid wireless plan, Two, you have registered for perks with your T-Mobile ID. And three, at least 10 qualifying purchases using your T-Mobile money card have been posted to your checking account before the last business day of the month. I know that sounds like a lot and we just went through a lot, but like I said in the beginning, doing your due diligence is so important. Just like many other online banks, T-Mobile doesn't charge any fees. And in addition to the debit card, a customer can use their new mobile money app on an iPhone or Android smartphone to take photos of checks, make a deposit into an account, pay bills, add funds, view transactions, transfer funds, and find ATMs. Another benefit is with your T-Mobile money debit card, you can save up to 50% on select hotels and pay now car rentals from T-Mobile Travel with Priceline. Even if you're not a T-Mobile customer, this is a great deal because a 1.5% APY is already good. But man, if you're a T-Mobile customer, 4% APY, if you follow some basic rules, is unheard of. I know so many people who are maxing out all these benefits. Not only that, but all the other perks, including a debit card, which makes sitting the 10 debits per month fairly easy, and the travel benefit up to 50% off. High yield savings accounts are backed by the FDIC, which makes them a safe and flexible way to help build up your emergency fund or save for bigger purchases and milestones in your life. It's also just a great place to park your cash in an account that gets a good return and where you know you can pretty much have access to it whenever you want. While rising interest rates can be great for your emergency fund or sinking fund for big purchases or milestones, it can be bad for things like credit cards or other types of loans with adjustable short-term interest rates. So paying off any high interest debts like credit cards is very important so that your debt doesn't eat up even more of your income. If you'd like to know how to get out of debt using a super easy shortcut, check out this video right here.